Hello friends, this video on NEET genetics is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's start with monogenic inheritance. So what does monogenic inheritance? As I said, mono means one. So one gene controls one trait. So monogenic inheritance occurs when one gene controls one trait. So monogenic inheritance, this is basically the Mendelian inheritance. You remember the Mendel's experiments which you performed? So all those inheritance patterns, they are all monogenic inheritance. So in this type of inheritance, a child receiving a dominant allele from either parent. So if a child has a dominant allele, whether he received it from the father or the mother, the child will have the dominant form of the phenotypic trait. For example, in this case, so these are the parents. So capital T, capital T and small t, small t, these are the parents and what, which are the children of the first generation, so these are the children, right? So if you look at the children, so even if a child receives one dominant allele from either parent, so here if you look at the first child, it has only one dominant allele that is capital T, so even if it has one dominant allele, what would be the phenotype of the child? So the phenotype would be the dominant form that is this child is going to be tall. So in this case I am taking the example of the pea plant, the experiment of Mendel. So you see even if one dominant allele from either of the parent, the child is going to be tall which is the dominant phenotype. So this is the basic characteristic of monogenic inheritance. Now since it follows the Mendelian pattern of inheritance, it is also called Mendelian inheritance. So if you see now the child will be short or dwarf only when it receives the dwarf allele from both the parents. Right? So th that is the basic characteristic of monogenic inheritance. That is one gene controls the trait. For example here that one gene is the gene for tall trait. So if capital T is there, then the overall phenotype is going to be tall. Whether it is capital T, small t or it is small t, capital T or it is capital T, capital T. So it is dominated by this dominant allele. So the dominant allele rules, dominant allele decides what would be the trait. So when we say that one trait is controlled by one gene, we mean that the trait is controlled by multiple alleles of the same gene. For example, here if you see capital T, small t, these are multiple alleles of the same gene. So, the, so all of these are part of the same gene which talks about the height of the plant. Similarly, when you look at the other experiment of Mendel where he worked with the round and wrinkled seeds. So they are also round and wrinkled where two different alleles of the same gene which talks about the shape of the seeds. Now purely Mendelian traits are a very small minority as most of the traits that we see mostly in the human body they, are, they show incomplete dominance or co-dominance or contribution from multiple genes. So most of the traits in our body they are basically polygenic. Very few traits in our body are monogenic and one such example is the ear wax gene. So let us look at the genetics of the ear wax gene. Now when we talk about the ear wax gene, what are the possible version, what could be the possible versions of this gene? So the ear wax could either be dry or the ear wax could be wet. Now let us say that the wet ear wax is represented by the allele capital W and the dry ear wax is represented by the allele small w. So these are the two alleles of the ear wax gene. Now let's say that this is the father and this is the mother. So both of them will, will contribute one allele of this gene. So that is how it works. So for every gene one allele comes from the father, one allele comes from the mother. So both of them will contribute one one version of the same gene. So let us say that the father contributed capital W that is wet ear wax gene and the mother contributed small w that is the dry ear wax gene. So what would be the genotype of your ear wax gene? It would be capital W small w. So when you look at it 
how how should it work what should be the phenotype that means what should be the actual trait that you have so the actual trait that you have would be the wet earwax gene so even though you have one capital w one small w that doesn't mean that your earwax would be somewhere between wet and dry so it would not be an intermediate thing it would be wet earwax because capital w is dominant over small w and this is what we mean by monogenic inheritance where one gene controls the trait so here you see one gene it is capital w which is controlling the trait so capital w is presence of capital w is deciding that the earwax of this individual is going to be of wet type so dry earwax is mostly found in asians and native americans so this was just an example to tell you that the the pattern of inheritance of dry and wet earwax happens purely like the mendelian pattern of inheritance so this is one such example in human beings which follows monogenic inheritance thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you